Hi guys, my name is Johan from Restoration.bike. And in this video, I'm going to give you my honest review about the Park Tool CM25 Professional Chain Scrubber. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I also have a Facebook group for like-minded people who are into bike restorations and you're welcome to join that group with the help of the link in the description below. This is not my first bicycle cleaner. My first one was an older version of the current BBB Bright and Fresh chain cleaner. And the reason I've bought the CM25 is because that one broke almost immediately because it was made of plastic. With insulation tape and a quick glue, I managed to keep it working until the brushing wheels literally fell out of their casing. As far as I know, the CM25 is the only bicycle chain cleaner in the market made of something else than plastic. It's made of die cast aluminum with a powder coating in the characteristic blue of Park Tool. This not only looks and feels great, it also means that with some care, it'll last you the rest of your life, no matter how many times you use it. So where I use the BBB many times in a compromised broken state, this will never happen with the Park Tool CM25. And from a bike restorer's perspective, tools that you can use for a lifetime are a huge plus. The CM25's internals are obviously not made of aluminum. The bicycle chain cleaner comes with a removable cartridge that holds the brushes and sponges. And should you decide to replace this cartridge, you can. There's either a replacement brush set or a replacement cartridge. So being able to have multiple options of replacing the internals adds to its longevity. None of the other kits had replaceable internals. And this means that the combination of the everlasting body and replacement parts place the Park Tool CM25 far yes. above its competition. I've used the Park Tool CM25 once and it does what it's supposed to do. All cleaners basically look and operate the same way with rotating brushes. So you probably won't find a noticeable difference between chain cleaners. That being said, one advantage of the removable cartridge is that you can much easier clean the tool itself. You simply take out both halves of the cartridge and clean the empty casing. You also have easier access to the cartridge, which makes it much more simple task to rinse them or for a really thorough cleaning, you can submerge the entire cartridge into white spirit. My experience with the BBB cleaner, which had fixed brushes, was that I basically never cleaned the unit. I simply drained the cleaner of the white spirit, which I use as a cleaning fluid, and let the crud sit at the bottom of the casing. This obviously does not improve the result of the next cleaning job, but I found cleaning the cleaner itself with fixed brushes to be too much of a nuisance. So let's talk about the price. Excluding shipping costs, I bought the Park Tool CM25 chain cleaner for 81.33 euros or $69. And I believe I bought the BBB for a third of that price, either 25 or 30 euros. And based on this review, you can see that there are a number of key benefits when choosing this one as your go-to chain cleaner tool. And it's up to you to decide if that's worth the price of entry. And if money is a concern, but you still want to be able to replace the brushes in the long run and want to have the added benefit of a more thorough cleaning of the tool itself, Park Tool offers an alternative. The Park Tool CM 5.3 Cyclone Chain Scrubber has the aforementioned advantages, but uses a plastic casing instead of an aluminum one. In my mind, and for the price of 30 euros, this still makes the alternative a better option than the rest, but without the heavy, hefty price tag. I've read quite some reviews on chain cleaners, including the Park Tool CM 5.3, and as was the case with my plastic BBB chain cleaner, cracked casings are a recurring theme. So for me, having been there before, I was willing to spend the extra cash to minimize that risk to be pretty much non-existent by going for the aluminum casing. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to consider joining the Facebook group. And I hope I can welcome you again for the next video. Bye for now.